Hey there folks, good evening, extremely sorry for the delay, small hiccup with the streaming but I think we are good to go. Can you guys quickly confirm on the AV guys? I think I guess A okay. Alright, so today we are going to look at cat questions from uh, simple and compound interest these questions would be from uh, 2017 till 2021 and uh, we also have a surprise question from zat as well yeah hey nupur i'm doing amazing thank you so much for asking definitely definitely we in ages yes good evening aditya hi Bhaskar okay so this is the process this is the right way in which you know you you take up the blitzkrieg you take up the free test you can download the pdf question and then attend the session on youtube okay the uh, link for the test is given in the description the link for the downloading of the pdf of the questions is also given in the description go ahead check them out apart from these stuff there's something else also i wanted to convey to you today so we are running a fabulous discount okay uh, there are two courses that we have for uh, this is especially for people who are going to give cat 2022 right so one you have a 95 to 99 percentile course this is going to be a booster course this is going to help you push yourselves from that 95 percentile till 99th percentile right the dream percentile and for people who started a little late or people who want to do a quick revision on everything there's also a crash course going on okay so we'll be starting all of this but uh, for you all to get you know an additional discount of 10 percentage all you have to do is take a quiz right there's a sunday cat quiz just a three question quiz the link is given in the description take that quiz based on the score of that quiz you'd get a 10 percentage discount uh, the coupon code would be sent to you on your email address use that coupon uh, use that coupon while uh, you know the payment and you'd get additional 10 percentage discount okay additional so beyond all the discounts that are up another 10 percentage discount but this is valid only till tonight okay 11 59 pm tonight uh, so my recommendation immediately after the session right go ahead take that test just a three question test get your additional 10 percentage discount use it to either join the booster course if you are already at the 95th percentile and you want to you know take yourself to the 99th or for the crash course good cool. so let's get started so we are going to deal with uh, you know simple interest and compound interest question most of these questions are calculation based yeah most of these questions are calculation based so uh, a blessing in disguise for us is what our calculator so we're going to use an on-screen calculator to cut down any extra work that we do okay right hey aditya hi rahul of course of course i remember nupur i remember rahul i remember everybody i remember them i remember people who've shown an interest so definitely don't worry about it okay Chalo, let's get started our first question Anil invest some money at a fixed rate of interest compounded annually okay so the type of compound the type of interest applied is compound interest if the interest accrued during the second year so second year the interest let's call it i2 okay second year the interest uh, was 806.25 and the interest during the third year is 866.72 okay now what do we know about compound interest we know that the amount right the amount for the second year is basically or just the interest even if we go just for the interest then interest for the second year is going to be what principal into the rate of interest into the rate of interest correct rate of interest applied twice where r is uh, r is going to be what the rate of interest p is your principal and it's applied twice yes so for example 10 percentage so 10 percentage beyond that 10 percentage another 10 percentage that's the idea okay and how about uh, three years then it's going to be pr cube right 
So I know that if I take the ratio of this, I'll get my rate of interest, correct? So my rate of interest here is basically going to be the ratio of the third year's interest and the second year's interest, which is 866.72 upon 806.25. Yeah, so we're going to use our calculator, not going to put in so much work where we don't you know, need it. Yeah, I quickly just use the calculator. So we have 866, sorry. 866.72 divided by 806.25 this way this is not our rate of interest actually uh, 1.075 is our multiplicative factor the amount by which it increases every year okay so 1.075 is the multiplicative factor there rate of interest is going to be 7.5 percent we don't want 7.5 percent let's use this so one point 1.075 is our multiplicative factor so every year it increases by 7.5 percentage or it becomes 1.075 times of itself the question is simply asking what is the interest during the fourth year so fourth year interest is going to be what fourth year's interest is going to be third year's interest third year's interest into the multiplicative factor r that we found out right which is 866.72 into the 1.075 yeah so we already have 1.075 on the calculator just multiply it with 866.72 giving us 931.72 immediately done 931.72 this is going to be our answer this is a direct calculative question don't have to get involved in trying to turn this into fractions or cancelling out the decimals or approximation don't get into all of those uh, you know time eating time consuming processes directly use your calculator get it over with okay so from this i think you would learn that the uh, interests right the interest uh, in uh, compound interest are in a gp correct the interest in the compound interest are in a gp yes first you would have pr this is the interest during the first year then you would have pr into r then you would have pr into r into r so that's pr square pr cube pr par 4 and so on right compound interest the interests are in a gp yeah or you could also say that they are in uh, uh, the amount would also be in a gp right cool chalo very good Let's get hi Kamalakandan. Wanakam buddy. Let's go to the second question. Give this a read. This looks like a very you know long, lengthy, time consuming, time eating question. It technically is if you don't understand what the question is trying to say. Okay, go through it. Uh, Rahul, definitely buddy. Ping me. Ping me, Rahul. Drop me a message. I'll help you out. Yeah. Hey Tarek. Good evening, buddy. So let's have a quick read at this bank a offers six percent okay so we have bank a this offers six percent rate of interest now read this carefully compounded half yearly which basically means three percentage for the half year okay three percentage for the half year bank b and c so we have b and c they offer simple interest this is compound interest keep this in mind bank b and bank c have simple interest uh, but the annual rate offered by bank c is twice of bank b okay so twice of bank b let's say bank b offers r percentage then this would offer 2r percentage okay this is per annum yeah not half yearly per annum okay beyond this so this is the idea behind the banks beyond this what is told to us they're saying that raju okay so there's this guy raju he invests some amount we don't know how much he invests some amount for a certain period of time in bank b okay so some principal in bank b for a some for some period of time yeah so this basically would be what r percentage for t years okay that's the idea behind this r percentage for t years for raju and then there's another person rupa uh, what does rupa do rupa does 10000 rupees okay so we have the principal here 10000 rupees uh, in bank c okay in bank c for twice the period of time 2t 
So what do we know here the rate of interest is going to be R percentage here the rate of interest is 2R percentage right this is the information that is given to us initially right what are they asking they are saying that the interest that would accrue Raju during that period is equal to the interest that would have accrued had he invested the same amount in bank A for one year. So what are they saying bank in bank A applying for one year okay so first let's find out how much would it be it's three percentage for half year so for one year it is six percentage no since it's getting compounded half yearly we can say that three percentage plus three percentage plus three into three by hundred correct successive increase do you remember this a plus b plus a b by hundred successive increase so effectively for one year raju's uh, you know one year interest is going to be how much 6.9 percentage I hope you're getting this yeah 6.9 percentage so what are they saying the interest that would accrue Raju during the that period is the same as had he invested the same amount in bank A for one year so here our percentage is 6.9 percentage we are saying okay 6.9 percentage is R cool so if R percentage is 6.9 then 2 R percentage is how much uh 13.18 percentage agreed sorry 12.18 or okay let's keep it this that way itself 6.9 percentage so now look at this what is happening here in this case we have time is t and r so here our interest is going to be r percentage of t correct technically in terms of percentage yeah or a t into r percentage t into r percentage how about here we have 2t and 2r which makes it 4 into t into r percentage i hope you're getting this okay 2r 2t's makes it four times t into r percentage it's simple interest only no this is simple interest so we can directly do this okay so here if this is 6.9 percentage then this is how much 4 into 6.9 percentage which is going to be uh 24.36 percentage right so 24.36 percentage is uh rupa's interest okay they're asking what how much is the interest that rupa accrued in terms of rupees for 10,000? yeah so for 10,000, what is 24.36 percentage 2436 got it 24.36 percentage of this 10,000 is how much 2436 i hope this is clear yeah 6.09 sorry yeah yeah not 6.9 6.09 my bad this is 6.09 huh 6.09 percentage because 3 by 100 is 0 0.09 okay 6.09 6.09 into 4 is uh, 24.36 works done cool now 6.09 yeah my bad my bad <laughs> Chalo, let's move on to our next question question number three have a look at this question all right rahul superb guys great work great work let's keep this coming so let's have a look at this question. Viru invested 10,000 at 5 percentage simple interest. And exactly after two years, Joy invested 8,000 at 10 percent simple interest. So both are simple interest. Okay. How many years after Viru's investment will their balances, that is principal plus accumulated interest, technically amount be equal. Okay. So they're saying that the amounts must become equal. Amount for Viru in uh, say some N years, should be the same as amount for joy in two years less because joy uh, invest after two years that's the idea okay so what is happening 10,000 so what does uh, uh, you know Viru does Viru goes applying 10,000 okay 10,000 for five percentage okay five percentage for how many years n years okay this is the interest please keep this in mind this is the interest okay they are saying the amount is equal not the interest so it has to be this plus ten thousand the principal this is viru's case same way for joy's case what is happening eight thousand 
at what rate of interest 10 percentage applied for what n minus 2 years okay keep that in mind plus the 8000 because the amounts are equal they say okay the idea is to solve for n we solve for n and we have it that's it okay the the task is simply to solve for n and we'll done will be done with it so let's quickly do the solution part uh, percentage and two zeros can get cancelled so this is 100 into 5 500 n plus 10000 is basically what so 10 percentage into n minus 2 okay please keep this in mind it's 10 percentage into n minus 2 so let's cancel this off what do we have 80 into 10 is 800 so we would have 800 n minus 800 into 2 which is 1600 plus 8000 yes idea is to solve for n i think we already have it yeah so this goes here this comes here we would have 300 n is basically equal to uh, 2000 3600 n is equal to 3600 by 300 or 36 by 3 12. so in 12 years in 12 years the amount uh, generated or collected by viru would be the same as the amount generated or collected by joy got it yes guys cool chalo beautiful very direct question there's no you know doing too much of it direct put up it put up as an uh, equation and get it done with okay chalo next question question number four this is also a very good question <clears throat> Now here they're saying for the same principle, okay, for the same principle amount, the compound interest for two years at 5% per annum exceeds the simple interest for three years, 3% three annum, okay, by 1125, then the principle is how much, okay, for how many years, for two years here, and here it is simple interest for three years, so compound interest here, simple interest here, here same principle okay for both of these cases the principle is the same here it is five percentage per annum for two years and here it is three percentage per annum for three years the difference in the interest is given to us yeah so let's quickly do this two years five percentage would be what five percentage plus five percentage plus five into five by hundred correct 5 percentage increased for two consecutive years which is what 10.25 percentage so this is basically 10.25 percentage of the principal p minus since this is simple interest three percentage for three years is three into three nine percentage of principal p they're saying the difference between these is what double one two five yes 10.25 minus nine is one point 25 by 100 into p has to be double 125 yeah we know uh, 125 into 9 is uh, double 125 so this will be 9 followed by two zeros leaving us with principal being 900 into 190,000 yes direct solution do not 6 into 6 na nupur sorry 3 into 3 this is 9 3 percentage 3 percentage for 3 years not 2 years okay that's why i highlighted this part we often you know misread the question and then end up making a mistake yeah this is an easy 3 marks easy 3 marks 90000 cool guys quickly drop in a yes if you are getting the flow of this quick 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 so what i did is i directly use successive to find out what would be the effective increase in two years uh, if you want you can also go by uh, you know multiplicative factor five percentage increased for two years got it yeah chal, beautiful moving on question number five so with sici most questions are direct okay uh, okay anurag 
So Anurag's question is how did we arrive at 10.25 percentage? So there are multiple ways of looking at it Anurag. One of the ways the, the concept that I used here is called successive increase. Okay. Successive application of percentage. Whenever you have A percentage increase and then B percentage increase. Okay. Some amount increases by A percentage then again increases by B percentage. So whenever there's successive increase, the effective increase, effective increase is always A plus B plus AB by 100. Okay. So we could use this or if you think, sir, I don't want to learn a new formula at this point in time. So what you can do is 5% increase is 1.05 for one year. For two years, it is going to be 1.05 into 1.05. Yeah, simply have to find out 1.05 square, which comes out to be what? 1.1025. Correct? 1.1025 means what? Apart from the 100 percentage, there is 10.25 percentage extra increase. Correct? Got it? Anurag clear? Uh, the punch so the punch for three years successive it will become a little complex if it is three years it would become a little complex for two about two years anything about two years i would recommend you to go for this yeah i would definitely recommend you to go for this because otherwise what would happen is let's say five percentage five percentage five percentage three times increase then you would first have to deal with these two fives you would get 10.25 then apply 10.25 with this 5. So your question, your, uh, you know, for, uh, ca uh, calculation would look like this 10.25 plus 5 plus 10.25 into 5 by 100. Got it? So this would make it dirty. This is very messy. Correct? Do you agree, guys? This makes it very ugly. Yeah. So instead, go for what? 1.05 multiplied with itself thrice giving us what 1.157625 leaving us with 15.7625 percentage okay 15.7625 percentage so i wouldn't want you to do this if it is three years and above okay if it is three years and above simply just go 1.05 cube you would get 1.157625. Got it? Cool. Superb. Superb. Very good, guys. <coughs> done, done, done. Chalo. Let's move on. Hey, Satan. Doing amazing, buddy. Thank you so much. Correct, Dipansh. Too complicated. Yes, too complicated for three years and above. That's why I would never recommend that. Instead, directly use your calculator. That's it. Okay. I'm doing amazing, Satan. How are you? Okay, let's go. Question number five for the day. A person invested a certain amount of money at 10% annual interest. Compounded half yearly. So, this is very important. A lot of us don't read this carefully. Okay. So, it is compound interest. How much? 10 percentage annually so 5 percentage half yearly okay 5 percentage half yearly done after one and a half years so after 1.5 years the interest and principal together became 18522 this is what interest and principal together is what amount amount is 18522 they're saying they're asking what was the principle can we find this out yes this is one of those questions <coughs> where you directly use the calculator don't think too much yeah five percentage half yearly for 1.5 years 1.5 years is basically what three half years correct 1.5 years is basically what three half years one half two half three half is one and a half years yeah so we are basically doing what applying five percentage for three times this is something that we did earlier also this came out to be 1.157625 we just saw this this 
applied on the principal so this amount 1.157625 applied on the principal is how much 18522 simply looking at p it's going to be what 18522 divided by 1.157625 yeah or if you are going to use a calculator either directly do it 18522 divided by 1.157625 giving you the answer 16000 okay alternatively my suggestion to you would be obviously we would not know this beforehand right so instead of finding out this value initially my recommendation to you is 18522 once divided by 1.05 twice divided by 1.05 thrice divided by 1.05 is 16,000 so simply just divide by 1.05 thrice you have it okay simply divide it thrice with 1.05 and we have it okay cool use a calculator get it over with Zada sochne ka nahi hai. don't have to put in too much of thought too much too much of effort this is one of those questions that don't require that correct venkat yes buddy yes successive division end of the story yeah this is this i wrote down because i just did this calculation in the previous slide correct we did this calculation in the previous slide so i had it on the top of my mind so i wrote it down obviously we won't remember it during the test so what do you do 18522 divide it with 1.05 three times that's it cool beautiful chalo correct sandeep yeah buddy yeah because we just did it i remembered it otherwise there's no way i would have remembered okay yeah okay a quick uh, reminder guys i know i've told this to you earlier but since today is the last day for it this is a quick reminder there are two uh, you know new courses that we have started uh, with keep keeping in mind that we have about you know 60 days left one is your 95 to 99 percentile course which is a booster course right this will boost your course uh, score from 95 to 99 so let's say you are somebody who's already at 95 and you want a quick you know kick there to get to that 99 percentile then this is a booster course for you all and the other one is a crash course for people who started late or for people who want to get through a revision there's a crash course also available yes the news here is there is an additional 10 percentage discount if you take a quiz okay so the link for the quiz is in the description it's just a three question quiz a, a quiz with three questions you take the quiz you will get a coupon for additional 10 percentage discount on your email so make sure that you give your email in the uh, give the right email you get additional 10 percentage discount beyond all the discounts that are available right so go ahead check this out please do let me know if you have any issues there okay chal next question go through this uh siddharth see so so far we've seen five questions out of the five questions i think there was one question that took us a little time in understanding but mostly these questions are doable only buddy okay cool siddharth but these questions are doable they're not going to be extreme one because calculator is there so you can do the uh, you know almost impossible stuff the only thing would be understanding yeah so have a look at this question this question is a mix of not just sici but also ratios right it's also a mix of ratios yeah there are multiple ways of doing this question but the easiest that i found is this they're saying a person invested a total amount of 15 lakhs okay so there's 15 lakhs total amount invested in fixed deposit earning six percentage okay so fixed deposit let's say x rupees was invested okay x rupees invested at six percentage the remaining amount the remaining amount were split into two what will be remaining out of 15 lakhs x lakhs is gone okay out of 15 lakhs x is gone okay they're saying that they are further divided into two cases these are further divided into two cases which is what one earning four percentage interest this is in the ratio two is to one okay one earning four percentage interest 
and the other earning two percentage interest yeah three percentage sorry. three percentage interest they're asking uh, the amount that was invested in the fixed deposit which is the idea is to find out the value of x what is x okay so what do we know here <clears throat> in in this case it is directly given six percentage <clears throat> six percentage of x rupees get it done with how about this so whatever is this 15 minus x amount right whatever is this 15 minus x amount it has to be split into the ratio 2 is to 1 so this is going to be what 2 third and what is this going to be one third okay so one third of 15 minus x invested here there is four percentage interest and here there is three percentage interest the question is directly telling us that the overall interest the total interest earned which is this plus this plus this is seventy six thousand. okay so what do we have we have six percentage of x plus Two third of how much? Two third of fifteen minus x of four percentage. Fifteen minus x of this value four percentage plus one third of fifteen minus x is three percentage is going to be seventy six thousand. Got it? Clear, guys. I hope this part is clear. Yeah. Any questions, any confusions, do let me know. So now it's all about calculation. That's it. Yeah. 76,000. Since we are writing everything in lakhs, this is 15 lakhs. X is also to be, it's intended to be in lakhs. So let's write 76,000 also in lakhs. Okay. 0 0.76 lakhs. Cool. Now for the calculation part, we have percentage, percentage, percentage. Let's take this by 100, take it to the other side and multiply. So we would basically have 6x plus 2 third into 4, which is 8 by 3 of 15 minus x plus 3 and 3 cancel, which gives us 15 minus x is 76 lakhs. Got it? <coughs> 0 0.76 lakhs into 100 by 100 by 100 by 100. I took it to the other side. Okay. So we have 6x plus... 8, 15 minus x if I take common it is 8 by 3 15 minus x if I take common it is 8 by 3 plus 1 which is 11 by 3 times okay maybe multiply everything with 3 and then we can multiply inside with 11 so multiplying with 3 we would get 18 x plus uh, 15 uh, 15 into 11 is 165 minus 11 into x 11 x is equal to 76 into 3 which is 210 plus 18 228 yeah 18 x minus 11 x is 7 x i'm doing the rest of the calculation here 7 x 228 minus 165 is uh, 360 63 giving us what x is 63 by 7 which is 9 we wanted the value of x correct we definitely wanted the value of x but please keep in mind if you answer for this question there will be a text box for this question yes there will be a text box in this question if you are if you answer 9 is it correct for this question if you answer 9 is it correct or should it be 9 lakhs what should be the answer guys is it a or is it b you have to tap in correct you have to type in you have to use your uh, mouse select the number would you select 9 or would you select 9 lakhs quickly tell me guys a or b 9 or 9 lakhs what's the answer to this question quick 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 some are saying 9 lakhs some are saying 9 okay read 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 this part read this part if the total annual interest income is seventy six thousand, then the amount in rupees lakh invested is how much this is already in lakhs guys please know this this is already in lakhs so if you put up n then it is nine lakhs 
if you put up 9 lakhs here then it will become 9 lakh lakhs i hope you're getting this 9 lakh lakhs okay no venkat it has nothing to do with this part it has nothing to do with this part it has to do with this part they've given the scale here in the question they have given the scale here in the question so b would be our wrong answer correct answer is a understood so we the idea is if you are not proactive if you are not attentive in theta question in theta question if you are not attentive about the scale then what would happen you lose out on easy marks just like we would have done here you put up 9 lakhs, the answer would have become 9 lakhs, lakhs, right? 9 lakh times lakhs. I hope you're getting the idea here, okay? So don't make that mistake, okay? Read the question extremely carefully, wherever needed, maybe make a note of things, okay? Cool? Yeah, beautiful. Yes, uh, the question set setter is not a sadist. <laughs> he is somebody who's getting bored that's it <laughs> he's technically getting bored the answer to this question has to be nine and not nine lakhs okay please be careful chalo next question let's go guys give this a shot traps are definitely my favorite yes nupur you know me <laughs> I love a question with a trap. Yes. Chalo, look at this question. Amal invests 12,000 at 8 percentage interest compounded annually. So there's Amal. Invest how much? 12,000 at 8 percentage interest compounded annually. And <clears throat> apart from that, and also what? 10,000 at six percentage compounded semi-annually okay compounded semi-annually so this is going to be what this is eight percentage per annum this is three percentage per semester okay i'm writing p s s is semester semester is half year easy for us to do you know go get on with the question both investments being for one year both the investments were for one year okay next we are talking about bimal Bimal invests his money at 7.5 percentage simple interest for one year. Okay, we don't know how much, but it is 7.5 percentage simple interest. These are compound interest. Okay, these are compound interest. Cool. If Amal and Bimal get the same amount of interest, then the amount invested by Bimal is how much? Yeah, let's say Bimal invest P rupees. How much is P is the question. Got it? What are they saying? If Amal and Bimal get the same amount of interest, then how much is invested by Bimal? Are you getting this, guys? This is post what? Post one year. Yeah. So after one year, if we were to quickly just do the calculation, one year is 8% on 12,000. 8% 8 of uh, 12, uh, 12 is going to be what? 9.6, right? So 2 zeros gone you would have uh, 120 960 rupees would be our interest make sense yeah 12,000 10 percentage is 1200 so 8 percentage would be 960 done 960 plus this guy 3 percentage for half year please keep this in mind 3 percentage for half year 10,000 okay so No, Nupur, not 9600. Please think this through. 10 percentage of 12,000 is 1200. If 10 percentage itself is 1200, then how would 8 percentage be 9600? How? Yeah, 80 percentage would be 9600. Okay, 80 percentage would be 9600. Cool. Chalo, getting back to this 3 percentage per semester so that's basically what 3 percentage plus 3 percentage plus 3 into 3 by 100 
that's nothing but 6.09 percentage for a year yes 6.09 percentage for how much 10,000 6 percentage of 10,000 is going to be 600 so this is 609 rupees got it 960 here and 609 here they're saying this interest is same this is nothing but 7.5 percentage of our principal the rest is doable p is going to be what 960 plus 609 is uh, 9 uh, 156 yeah yeah 60 plus 90 156 yeah 1569 by 7.5 into 100 yes how how you want to do the calculation is up to you whether you want to uh, use a calculator or you want to simplify this the choice is yours our answer is 20920 that's it clear done guys 20920 is the amount invested by uh, bimal this one done also look at the questions always look at the question see if there is theta question always look out for scale okay if you come across a scale don't miss out on that done so moving on question number eight yeah have a have a go at this i'll give you some time i'll give you some time for this question have a go at it try this out let's see if you can try this out quick Give this a shot, guys. This is a very interesting question. If you've gone through this, very nice. If you haven't, then I would recommend, please go through it. Very interesting question. Very, very interesting. <clears throat> Quick, I'll quickly go through the chat. If there is any. No. Moreover, this question is a theta question. Please be careful. This is a theta question, which means you don't have answer choices to go be in, in the reverse order. Okay. Chalo. Let's read this together. We have Gopal borrows rupees X from Ankit. Okay. So there's Ankit. Ankit gives it to Gopal. How much gives X rupees to Ankit? Okay. X rupees at 8% annual interest. 8% annual interest okay he then adds y of his own who is he gopal okay gopal adds y of his own and lends x plus y to ishan so gopal gives ishan how much x plus y at 10 percentage okay at 10 percentage now what are they saying they're saying at the end of one year after returning ankit's dues after returning Ankit's dues, the net interest retained by Gopal is the same as that accrued to Ankit. So, what are they basically saying? So, after one year, okay, after one year, Gopal will have to give how much to Ankit? Gopal will have to give how much to Ankit? On X, 8% extra, okay? So, 1.08X is what he would return to Ankit. Agreed? Ankit gives him X takes back 1.08x yes <clears throat> clear moving on what are they saying the uh, now read this carefully at the end of the year after returning ankit's dues the net interest retained by gopal net interest retained by gopal how much will ankit give to gopal ankit will give 1.1x plus 1.1y correct Ankit gives Gopal how much? 1.1x plus 1.1y. Gopal gives Ankit how much? 1.08x. I hope you're getting this. Because 10% on x, 10% on y. Okay. So how much is left now with Gopal? With Gopal, how much is left or how much is his profit during this entire thing? At the end of the year, after returning Ankit's dues, the net interest retained by Gopal. Net interest, okay, net interest. Remember, not overall amount, net interest, yes. 
सो दिस इज हाउ मच वन पॉइंट वन एक्स में से ही इज ऑलरेडी गिवन वन पॉइंट जीरो एट एक्स लिविंग अस विथ वॉट जीरो पॉइंट जीरो थ्री एक्स एंड वन पॉइंट वन वाई में से वाई वॉज हिज प्रिंसिपल लिविंग अस विथ पॉइंट वन वाई ओके गॉट इट साइक्लिंग भाव एट परसेंटेज एट परसेंटेज इंक्रीज ना सो एट परसेंटेज ऑन हंड्रेड परसेंटेज इज हाउ मच हंड्रेड एंड एट परसेंटेज which is nothing but 1.08 are you getting this i hope you're getting this ah sorry it's 0.1.02 ah got it are you getting this guys do you have any confusion so far Yeah, this is sorry. This is zero point zero two x. Oh my bad. This is zero point zero two x. Yeah, zero point zero two x. Because he is returning one point zero eight x, and he has his own y rupees. Okay, his own y rupees also he has had there. Are you clear with this so far, guys? Yeah. Okay. Moving on. What are they saying? So they're saying uh, the interest retained by Gopal is the same as that accrued to Ankit. Yes, the interest is the same accrued to Ankit. Are you getting this, guys? I hope you're getting this, guys. So two percentage of X is what Gopal gets. Ten percentage of Y is what Gopal gets. Uh, Ankit gets how much? Eight percentage of uh, X. Okay. So here, what do we know? In this case, we know that zero point. Okay. Let's write it in percentage. Now, two percentage of X plus 10 percentage of y is the same as 8 percentage of x because this is what ankit gets this is what ankit gets this is what gopal earns okay ankit's earning gopal's earning are equal they're saying after one year so we take this here what would we get we would get 10 percentage of y is the same as 6 percentage of x or 5 times y is 3x Okay, five times y is three x. Got this? This is one part. Okay, keep this in mind. Let's move on to the next part now. What are they saying? On the other hand, reading this from here. On the other hand, had Gopal lent. So Gopal, Ankit gives it to Gopal. Gopal gives it to Ishan. Okay, so they're saying. uh same x rupees okay same x rupees at 8 percentage is what he gives they are saying had gopal lent x plus 2y not x plus y but x plus 2y to ishan at 10 percentage then the net interest retained by him would have increased by 150 extra 150 they are saying yes extra 150 so how much would ishan return to uh, this guy This guy would return ten percentage of x plus twenty percentage of y. Keep this in mind. Ten percentage of x plus twenty percentage of y. This guy would return eight percentage of x. How much is he earning? How much is G earning? G is earning two percentage of x plus twenty percentage of y. Okay? Are you getting this? Yeah. So between these two, look at this. In this case, it was. 2 percentage of x and 10 percentage of y. Let's write this. 2 percentage of x and 10 percentage of y. And here, what do we have? We have 2 percentage of x and 20 percentage of y. So what are they saying? They are basically saying that the extra 10 percentage of y, extra 10 percentage of y is leading to this extra 150 rupees. Do you agree? Leaving us with what? Y being how much? Ten percentage of Y is one fifty. Y is one thousand five hundred. Yes. If Y is one thousand five hundred, from here can we find out the value of X? What do we know? We know that five Y is three X. Correct. We know that five times Y is three X, or X is nothing but five third of Y. Giving us what? Five third of one thousand five hundred. Five hundred into five, two thousand five hundred is x. Do not rush. Always read the question very, very, very super, super, super carefully. 
they're talking about x plus y they want us to find out the value of x plus y so x plus y is how much 1500 plus 2500 that's nothing but 4000 this has to be our answer clear got it guys people who said 3000 and other amounts say yes if you got this yeah done I think answer to previous question is 20,840. Just breathe. Are you talking about question 7? No, it is 20,920. Please check. We've already solved it. Check what went wrong. What is your calculation error? And uh, let me know. Okay. Done, guys. Question 8. Super. Yeah. So, what did this involve? This involved us to go step by step okay a question this long this lengthy in terms of the process go step by step break it into smaller steps and then do it makes it easy for you to understand okay clear chalo beautiful now we are left with last two questions here's question number nine now this is in the entire uh, you know five year period from 2017 till 2018 uh, 2021 the five year period was the only installment question okay go check this out read this read this what are they saying john borrowed 2.2 lakh 10000 from a bank at an interest rate of 10 percentage per annum compounded annually the loan was repaid in two equal installments the first one the first after one year and the second after another year okay so every year he's paying installments the first installment was interest of one year plus so this part normally is not given to us but here they've given it to us to explain it to us okay the first installment was interest of one year plus part of the principal amount while the second was rest of the principal amount plus due interest thereon due interest okay then each installment is how much they're asking yes normally they don't give us what is what they don't give us but this time they have okay this time they have given it to us how to calculate the installment part normally they don't do that do they do that guys normally they don't give us right what is how how is installment calculated nothing okay so please be careful when you uh, you know read this kind of a question okay if the information is given be careful enough to read and understand clear so now for this question what is told to us borrowed 210000 let's i'm going to call this as 210000 okay this is the principal borrowed yes next it what is the rate of interest 10 percentage rate of interest is what 10 percentage okay so on this 10 percentage applied for the first year we are going for calculating the amount okay 10 percentage in the first year then another 10 percentage in the second year because he's paying it in two installments okay he's paying it in what two installments please keep this in mind okay so 210 plus 21 giving us how much 231k here another 10 percentage giving 23.1 making it what 254.1k understanding this guys yes this is our final amount this is our final amount a okay this is what we owe what this is what john owes the bank 254.1k or 2,54,100. okay understood now what are they doing they are also applying interest for the installment amount right they're also applying what interest for the installment amount so what are they doing first let's say if the installment for this year was x first year if the installment was x then for the second year it will be x and then extra 10 percentage on it are you getting this this is very important to understand with interest guys read this the first installment was interest of one year plus part of the principal amount while the second year was the rest of the principal and plus due interest thereon due interest thereon this is very important okay this would give us what 1x plus 1.1x is 
2.1x yeah this is what we should give 254 254.1k should be given in these many installments say yes if you're getting this i hope you're getting this part guys 2.1x x is installment for the first year for the second year will be x plus 10 percentage interest okay so x plus 10 percentage of x is 2.1x giving us how much x would be 254.1k divided by 2.1 yeah which is how much i'm going to use the calculator not going to you know give time for uh, all this so 2,54,100 divided by 2.1 giving us how much 1,21,000 done 1,21,000 was our installment amount so technically each installment should have been 1,21,000 okay the idea behind installments is very simple first year installment should be 1,21,000 Technically, second year also the installment should be 1,21,000 only. Okay. I hope you're getting this. Technically, first year, second year installment amount should be equal. But what is the problem here? Because you're going to pay this extra amount after one year. Because you're paying it after one year, what happens on this? Additional 10 percentage is also applied. Additional 10 percentage. What is 10 percentage? Basically, your interest for that particular year. Okay. Your interest for that particular year. Got it, guys? I hope you are understanding this. Yeah. Done. So, this is 1,21,000. This is 1,21,000 plus 10 percentage, which is... Uh, 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 one hundred. Uh, sorry, how much? Twelve thousand one hundred. Yeah. So if I add twelve thousand one hundred here, we get how much? One three three one double zero. If you add this, this should be your in total amount. Double zero one four five two. This has to be your final amount. This is the amount that you owe the bank. See, 254,100 is what we owe the bank. Clear, guys? I hope that part is clear. Okay, done. So, installments are not very frequently tested. Not very frequently tested. But when they do get tested, some, some information about that might be given to us for our perusal. Okay. So, if it is given for our reference, use it. If not, this is the process. Cool. Done. Uh, Tariq, yes buddy, yes, one and the same now buddy, one and the same, either which ways, however, whatever works for you, okay? Chalo, last question of the day, let's quickly get this over with, this is ZAT question, okay? This was your surprise question, we've done nine questions from CAD, this is a ZAT question. The question says a computer is sold either for 19,000, so this is also an installment question, this is also an installment question from ZAT, okay? So they're saying the, the value of the uh, particular uh, computer, okay, the value, overall value is how much? 19,200 rupees. So if you buy it in cash, you directly pay 19,200 and get it over with. Or for 4,800 cash down payment together with five equal monthly installments. So this is full. If you pay lump sum, full amount. If you plan on paying it as installments, then what happens you have to pay a down payment of 4800 this is upfront no interest will be calculated for this 4800 that you pay yeah so the actual principle on which the uh, you know your uh, interest will be calculated will be what out of 19200 you've already paid 4800 from your pocket yes leaving you with how much principal uh, 14,400. Am I right? Yeah, 14,400 is the actual principle. Clear? So, 14,400 is the actual principle. They're saying what? Five installments. Five monthly installments. 
read this very carefully this is what five installments monthly okay monthly this is not annually not five years five months okay if the rate of interest charged is 12 percentage per annum then the amount of each in installment is how much okay so what is what what would be our process here forget about this this we need not worry about anymore this is what we have to worry about yeah so first 14400 is our principal yeah rate of interest since we are going monthly 12 percentage per annum is basically what one percentage per month correct 12 percentage per annum is one percentage per month so for five months it is how much five percentage but what is the deal that the amount is for the entire five months okay the amount is for the entire five months please be very very careful super careful about this okay so one percentage per month done now next what are they saying uh, the interest is charged they're asking what is the installment amount yeah so technically first let's find out for five months how much should be our amount amount should be how much for five months one percentage applied for five particular years say yes if you are getting this part guys so far if you've understood down payment installments all of this understood quickly say yes <clears throat> i'm waiting for y'all to for all y'all to uh, respond quick guys did you get this Chal beautiful right so amount is going to be what on 14400 five percentage extra correct on 14400 how much five percentage extra five percentage of 14400 so here I'm, I'm doing manual calculation because that does not give you calculator please remember that there is no calculator okay that's why i'm doing this i'm doing this calculation manually no calculator in that yeah so 10 percentage of 14400 is how much 1440 so five percentage of 14400 is going to be how much 720 understood are you getting this guys 10 percentage of 14400 is 1440 so five percentage is going to be 720 if i add 720 to this my final amount is how much 15120 clear this is how much i owe the bank or whoever is providing me the installment okay 15120 i should give them but how should i give them i should give them in monthly installments okay i should give that amount to them in monthly installments keep this in mind okay so if we were to give them in monthly installments obviously uh, the part where it is uh, you know compounded or simple since it is not given it is understood that it has to be simple yeah if that part is not given understand that it is simple number two one percentage for five years uh, one percentage for five months is as good as simple interest correct five percentage one percentage applied for five years can i say is approximately equal to this we don't even have to do this calculation approximately so whether this part is given or not you can still consider it to be simple interest itself look at this 1.01 .01, sorry 1.01 into 1 into 1.01 .01, into 1.01 into 1.01 is almost 1.05 i hope you're getting this so whether it is given simple or compound you can still go with the same thing so we're going with simple we have to pay five installments okay installment one installment two installment three installment four and installment five are you getting this since here it is not given how installments are calculated i'll tell you how it is calculated okay for every year for every year it is going to be the same amount x every year the amount is going to be the same x 
for the last year there is no interest calculated for the fourth year since you will be paying one uh, one installment after one month month sorry not year since you will be paying one installment after one particular month yes so what would you do apply interest only for that you are adding one percentage interest only for the fifth year i hope you are getting this here you have to give two interest so 1.02 here you have to give three months interest so 1.03 here you have to give four months interest so 1.04 understood one percentage one percentage applied for all of this so overall how much do i how much do we owe him 5.07.910 so 5.1 x is how much we have to give him are you getting this guys yeah so what is this 5.1 x guys what is this 5.1 x this 5.1 x is the same as the amount that we owe him 15 120 15,120 so we need to find out x which is 15,120 divided by 5.1 are you getting this guys yeah now again since again uh, you know zad does not give you a calculator so you will have to do this calculation manually okay you would still have to do this calculation manually look at the values here if you look at it you have 2800s two values with 2900s this is also 2800 and this is 3000 yeah there are two values in 2900s two values in 2800s and one value in 3000 you can go reverse engineering multiply it with 5.1 c which gives you 15120 or if you are okay cancelling this off this is uh this will go by three yeah one five one two zero will go by three you would end up getting what you'd end up getting two nine six four point something yeah two nine six four point seven something yes this gives us what two nine six five approximately got it b is the answer to our question done so installments is not a very commonly very frequently tested concept but it does get tested so when you are preparing when you are preparing don't leave out installments you never know if it pops up that particular year yeah so while you are doing sici might as well include a little bit of installment questions as well done beautiful guys i think this was a very productive day very interesting day remember sici is all about the calculation how you represent the calculation how you understand the question and represent the calculation yes if you want to do the calculation in the uh, for for tests like cat you have a calculator make sure you use it every time whenever possible use the calculator get it over with okay but for a test like that we have no other choice cool chalo beautiful a quick reminder guys now that uh, the session is getting over a quick reminder do take this quiz there is a three question quiz just three questions yes give this quiz you will get a, a coupon code in your email yes you will get a coupon code on your email use that coupon code to get additional 10 percentage discount on these two courses 95 to 99 and crash course since we have about about 60 days yes you could either go for a crash course that is if you haven't done much preparation or you've started late and you want to revise or you can go for the booster that is from 95 to 99 percentile score yeah this is a booster course this will tell you how to push your score from 95 to 99 yes how to bridge that gap so go through go through our website this is our website online.2im.com the description for the quiz is given in the uh, the link for the quiz is given in the description thank you so much i will see you the next time in the next week don't forget to download this pdf the pdf for uh, the questions that we saw today try those questions again yes and don't forget to join our telegram group to iim yes t.me backslash 2im use your phone to type in this link and join the, our telegram group to get cat related updates okay all right guys thank you so much have a very good night
Adios, buenos noches, bye bye. See you.